Tannerite coach with a dislocated multifocal lens. We'll start off making our pairs and pieces incision here. We'll need to put in iris hooks to see what's going on here. This is a patient with a multifocal lens and did well initially, and then noticed a decline in the vision. As we put the iris hooks in here, we can see that the capsorex has become very small, capsular phimosis, and we see that the nasal haptic of the IOL is not in the capsular bag. It's above the anterior capsular rim, and it's scraping the posterior surface of that iris. So certainly, we need to address this. We can't leave the eye like this. We use a sharp 27 gauge needle on our viscoelastic to get under that rex's edge. Once we've separated it, we can switch back to a 27 gauge blunt cannula. We need to open up the capsule bag as best as we can in order to free up the eye well. And then we can grab that entire haptic and bring it back in the capsule bag. So here's the viscoelastic dissecting open the capsule bag. We have to separate that anterior and posterior leaflets of the capsule bag. We want to have enough room there to put the IOL haptic. So we'll do a little bit more on all meridians here. Now we'll use the chopper, and this lens of course is quite flexible. We'll bring that nasal haptic towards us, get it out of the sulcus, and now push it into the opened up capsular bag. So here it is. Now that's appropriate. As the haptic goes back in the capsular bag, now we can easily center up the IOL. We want to center the, the multifocal lens directly in the patient's visual axis or center of the pupil. So that's good positioning right there. We should also probably open up this anterior capsular rim. We don't want it to become further phimotic in the future. So once we're happy with the positioning of the lens, we can rotate it a little bit, line up the Purkinje images, and then at the end here, let's check all of our incisions. So incisions look great. You do notice we have opened up the capsular bag. We put the lens inside of it. We centered it up. We also used forceps and micro scissors to enlarge the anterior capsular opening. And the case looks very good. At the end of the case here, we'll put some medicine inside the eye. This includes some antibiotics. This is flushing out the angle of the eye with viscoelastic. And then we'll also instill some anti-inflammatory medications and seal up our incisions. So that looks great. Patient did beautifully with a very nice result and had no further issues. So if you have a patient like this, you need to figure out why it's decentering and then address the problem directly. Thanks so much.